Oh, hey there, guys. Uh, welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, I wanted to share uh, my second uh, figure that I got um, on eBay, and this is uh, Scarlet. Um, really uh, liking the artwork here. She uh, it made her look like a complete badass, um, fighting Cobra, learning some uh, some martial arts, and yeah, I love this uh, back uh, poster, and I I gotta get the Baroness. I mean, she um, yeah, she looks really good. It's a great figure. Um, probably why they put her right in the middle. I don't know. <laughs> gotta get her, and I gotta get some of the. I gotta get Cobra Commander. I got pretty much got everybody here. Um, this was was my well. This is my second figure, so um, you know, pretty pretty happy that uh, they did a great job, and um, she looks she looks great. So let's uh, see how she is out of the package. There's not too much to the package on the inside. It's uh, just kind of got a you know, a little cardboard insert. And um, yeah, again, the, I liked how they didn't add a whole pile of uh, elastics to the figures. They kind of come out uh, nicely. So in just a comparison with her uh, so far, she's very, uh, I guess, stiff in the right parts. Um, and, um, you know, I don't, I don't have too many of these other figures. I never really collected um, the six inch lines just yet. Um, I actually didn't buy any of the uh, Star Wars uh, figures, so which normally I would, but I I just never got around to it, and uh, you know there's so many out there, it's probably hard to start. So I figured I'd uh, jump on the uh, the GI Joe uh, classified series, and um, yeah, they're they're really cool so far. I I I kind of like uh, well Scarlet here is uh, you know she poses great, and um, she's got a lot of uh, articulation in her legs and head movements, her arms, um, the wrist rotates, everything is, um, you know, where it should be. And, uh, even right down to the ankles. Um, so it should be able to get her in like some pretty good, uh, action poses <laughs> with, uh, the way they made her body and, um, and her, uh, crossbow is uh, really cool. It kind of actually had two parts, which I, I didn't know at first, but as you can see, it uh, just kind of comes apart and, uh, it's pretty pretty neat. I guess it, it kind of looks like a stormtrooper blaster the way they the way they built it. Yeah, I quite like it. It's too bad it uh, actually doesn't work. That would, that would be kind of cool. You know, you could put like a a mini arrow inside it and just kind of you know accidentally shoot somebody in the neck or something like that. No, I'm just, just I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, it'd be kind of neat if uh, you know if it'd be realistic to do that. But you know. In, in toy world, you'd, you'd have to put a spring in it. It'd have to be big and bulky and, you know, it wouldn't look um, authentic at all. But, um, you know, let's just see if we can actually get her to hold it. I guess it's mainly meant for her um, her right hand and not her, not her left hand. So um, her left hand seems to be um, not able to hold very, very much. But, um, you know, maybe maybe a knife. But... Definitely not the uh, the blaster, but she looks great. She looks great with it. So let's see if we can get one of them to fit in her hand. I don't really want to kind of force it in there. I mean, it might, knowing me, it would probably end up breaking. And then I'd be kind of like, well, I just broke one of my main figure accessories and I'll be all kind of kind of bummed out about it. So... But they fit back here uh, on her uh, backpack, so that's where they're going to go uh, when she's on display. Yeah, let's see if we can get this last one um, to sit in her hand a, a little bit here. So, yeah, that looks all right, right? She's holding it with like just her thumb and her and one of her fingers. I mean, that's that's kind of believable. <laughs> so. Anyways, well, let's uh, actually let's compare her to uh, Snake Eyes, since I got them nearby. So, they, uh, you know, with these figures, I mean, apparently they're all uh, they're all different uh, sizes, you know, which makes sense. I mean, with her build, and then I guess versus Snake Eyes, I mean, it makes sense that they're not the same height. And uh, yeah, they're completely, um, you know, completely unique. So, we'll have to see if they uh, eventually reuse some of the. Uh, some of the molds like for other figures but who knows i mean probably not i mean who knows maybe they'll have like uh 
don't know, like a jinx down the road or something like that because I could share parts uh, with Scarlet and maybe some other ninja, you know, kind of kind of outfit or even just uh, remold Scarlet into something else. You know, maybe she's going to have a, a different version of her, uh, you know, later on and they'll have to kind of remold some of these pieces. But uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's quite good. I think, um, you know, I'll enjoy having having these figures on display, um, you know, in a good, a good pose. And, you know, it looks like you can kind of articulate them in the, the way you want them to be. And yeah, I really like uh, that I got these two so far. Uh, collection is growing at this point. You know, and you want to get more than one, you got a, you got a collection, right? So anyways, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, video number two, basically for this series. And um, hope you like this one. Uh, please like and subscribe. And Thanks a lot for uh, stopping by. I'm going to go and shoot something with this crossbow.